In this video, we will be taking a look at the InnoCello Web Access Client. You will see how you can use the Web Access Client to access your documents remotely, while still retaining almost all of the functionality found in the Power User Client application. As the name implies, the Web Access Client is web-based, meaning that it runs inside a web browser. Accessing the web-based client is a simple matter of starting Internet Explorer and navigating to the appropriate address. In most cases, your system administrator will have created a shortcut for you under the InnoCello menu group and possibly on your desktop as well, as we can see here. When the browser opens, you may be prompted to enter a username and password to access the vault with the Web Access Client. If so, your system administrator should have provided this information to you. The start screen for the Web Access Client is very simple and requires you to select a vault before you can continue. This is done by selecting the drop-down box here and selecting the desired vault. Once the Web Access Client is open, we can start to work with the documents in the vault and perform the same actions as with the Power User Client. We will begin by working from the top of the screen to the bottom, covering each section and what it does. Across the top of the screen you can see three drop-down boxes. These are to select the Navigation View, Work Area and Vault respectively. Just under the drop-down boxes are a number of clickable buttons. From left to right these are Find in Main Area, Global Search, Add New Document, Edit Preferences and Log Off. We will be using some of these commands later in this video. Next to the buttons is the Quick Search field. You can enter simple text values that you would like to search on in the vault as we are doing here. Next to the Quick Search is an option to adjust how many items are shown on the page at one time. Here, the lowest possible value is 10. This can be a useful option if you have limited screen space. Just below the buttons and quick search bar is the main feature of the Web Access Client. This is where most of the navigation of the vault takes place. It is a tree-like representation that is similar to the one found in the Power User Client. The default view is the Explorer view. You can of course change the view type by using the appropriate drop-down box at the top of the screen as seen here. As you can see, this main area of the Web Access Client is very flexible and can be changed to show different information. We can refer to this current state as the Navigation View state. This is a state in which folders and documents are shown in tree-like structures depending on which navigation view is selected. It is important to understand this for effectively using this client application, as we will see in just a moment. If you click on a folder, as we are doing here, you will see that the folder is expanded revealing its contents. Clicking on the folder once more will collapse it. Notice also the green tick next to the folder. This tick simply indicates which folder currently has focus. Once you find the document you are looking for, you can see a number of the property values in the columns to the right. You can of course click on the document. Doing so will change the way the client interface looks as we can see here. We are now at a document level and all information on the screen is related to the document we have selected. You may have noticed that from this perspective, it is no longer possible to select a different view, work area or vault. This can only be done from the navigation view state. What's more, we now have a menu bar with a number of commands available on it. All of these commands relate to the document and can be used, for instance, to take a document through its workflow or simply update the thumbnail. Just under the menu bar are the property pages of the document. These property pages are of course also visible in the Power User Client. You can also edit the values of these properties in the same manner as the Power User Client. On the General tab, which is the default when going to the document state, are a number of important and useful features. 
First of all, is the thumbnail of the document. This will give you a glimpse of the document you are dealing with. Just above the thumbnail is the breadcrumb trail showing the document's location. The folder names shown here are actually hyperlinks that allow you to directly navigate away from the document to the selected folder and thereby changing the state of the web access client back to the navigation view state. From the document state, you can also simply click on the close button to return to the navigation view state. So what about manipulating documents from the navigation state? You may be familiar with the context menu in the Power User Client. The same is true with the Web Access Client. If we right-click on a document, we are presented with a full context menu, allowing users to handle either single documents or a batch of documents. For a single document, simply right-click the document itself and select the command you need. To handle a batch of documents, Use the checkboxes to select the documents you need, and then right-click on the parent folder as can be seen here. There is one final section of the Web Access Client that we will cover here, and that is the Document Viewer. There are two ways in which you can initiate the viewer for a document. The first way is from the Navigation View state. Simply right-click on the desired document and select the Show Document command. Alternatively, you can click on the thumbnail when in the document state. The functionality of the viewer is the same as that found in the Power User Client. This has been an overview of using the InnoCello Web Access Client. Information on this client can be found in the InnoCello User Guide. Thanks for watching.